these your heaviest outfit, something like this. We got oh, what is this you got there? Compañero de pesca, aquí estamos hablando con respecto a la pesca que vamos a tener de tuna. Yo sé que algunos no saben hablar inglés y están hablando en inglés, así es que estamos hablando cómo va a ser la pesca el día de mañana. Colors or any color? I don't think it matters. Oh, okay. It just hits them in the head, dog. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> they wake up and they bite the sun. <laughs> I think on this trip too, we're expecting to have a little breeze tomorrow. All right, it's going to be a little choppy, a little windy, a little breezy. So fishing with a heavier jig might be uh, a little better than fishing with anything less than 300 grams. It might be a little tough to keep it straight up and down. So I'd say 300 is a good place to start. Four 
bluefin this morning, so we were very happy with that. Um, I'd say probably 20% were those like 20 pounders, 18, 20 pounders. The rest were, you know, 30 to kind of mixed sizes. So. Pretty good sign of fish, at least for us. Um, yesterday during the day, we saw some nice schools. Uh, it's kind of weird as the day went on, we just saw less and less. So, kind of hard to say. How far are we going? That's a very good question. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> How far south? I don't know. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we are going to be heading south. I think we're going to check out uh, on the way out here. It looks like some water that's a little bit warmer than what we were fishing yesterday here, like 30, 40 miles from home. So we're going to take take a little peek at that real quick uh, before we start heading down further, um, which I think our end goal is going to be about that 70 mile mark. Um, kind of tough to say. Uh, we did have our spotter plane was up yesterday looking for fish and he saw fish in like a hundred mile area. So all the way as far as down to San Martin Island, uh, past Colonet, there was some fish down there and all the way up to where we were up here right outside Ensenada. So, kind of tough to say uh, where we might end up but I think a lot of it's going to kind of depend on our weather as well. Um, I do have a couple guys that are out right now, they're looking. I haven't heard of much action here for daytime. And I think our stop for seven last night was like the best stop of the night. So, um, things are moving, they're cold water right now. It's like 58, 59 degrees. I think everything's moving fast. And uh, they're not really settled in yet. So, I think pretty good chance we might see something here close. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, my four go-to setups, that light fly line, lighter jig rod for daytime, sink rig for daytime, and then obviously the heavy, heavy, heavy stuff for nighttime. Awesome. Man, liking it? Digging it. Oh yeah. Fuck Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, like I said, I think we could be potentially fishing here within a few hours. So get rigged up, get with the guys, make sure you got good connection knots, check your drags, all that stuff. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have a line counter. My ours just broke yesterday. But a uh, good idea if you do have one of those to get your line marked in 100 foot increments. Uh, a lot of times it helps you get down to where you know well, what I'm telling you. Hey, we're seeing fish at 250 or 300, 350, whatever. Um, you get a lot better idea where your jig actually is in the water zone. Um, is it still about like a 10 to 12 ounce weight, about 10 seconds or so per 100 foot? Is that about right or no? Maybe a little more than that. Okay, give it 15 then. Yeah. Just say like, get down there and bring it back up through them. Yeah, like with a, maybe a 300 gram jig, it's probably taking you about 45 seconds to get down there three, four. That's right, but you're constantly going out as well too. Right. Okay. One other uh, tip while we're jig fishing at night, which has been helping us out a lot, is especially if it's breezy, uh, you want to give your jig a toss down, downwind, down swell. So by the time you get down in the bite zone, two, 300 feet, whatever, maybe a little more. Um, you're trying to get your jig straight up and down with the boat. We had guys, our last trip, they looked like they were fly line and a bait out here and they're trying to do jig stuff and then they, they weren't getting any bites. <laughs> we did have a handful of guys, even during our first night where we had a really biting stop, one guy had 10 fish. Wow. And there was four or five people who had zero fish. So they weren't, uh, they weren't doing the thing. I think a lot of that reason was because they had their line way scoped out away from the boat. So, um, I try to let you guys know what we're seeing in sizes. I mean, it's kind of, eh, not always uh, 100%. So, um, fishing a little heavier, I think especially with a sinker rig, you don't want to be fishing a sinker rig with anything less than 50 pounds. Uh, potentially wasting your time. But uh, yeah, 60, 80, 100 even. Perfect. What kind, of, uh, what kind of beer do you recommend? What kind of beer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's in the cooler. I think we got a bunch of different stuff. Let's do it! Hell yeah! Obviously, once you guys have a lot of fun, fun. please keep safety in mind for us. And well. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, please get with the crew back 
What's your name again? Adam. Okay, nice to meet you, man. Mayor. Yeah. Leo. Listos para estar las cañas, señores. La raza corriendo aquí ya. Uno más. Ahí está Chelo. Corriendo, Chelo, Chelo, corriendo. Chelo al barco, al barco, al Chelo. Chelo al agua. Comiendo la primera comida, señores. Taquitos de carne asada, miren. Con guacamole, los chips y la salsita. ¿Qué Estoy comiendo con Chelo. <risa> Comiendo, comiendo la cena, señores. Como pueden ver, aquí, los Ahí el patote de chelo. Vamos a comer algo bien. Eso es todo. Ay, ay, ay. ay, ay no más que no vamos a usar eso. señores
here quick, get over here quick. You're about to wrap you up. Yeah, go ahead, slide underneath him, slide underneath him. Pescando con él esas aventuras, señores. Stay together, stay together, you guys might start turning off. Stay together. Stay together. There you go. Nice. Hot Rio, guys. Oh, there you go. There he goes. Hot Rio, hot Rio, hot Rio, hot Rio. Hot real guys, hot real. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let me in. Let me in, let me in. Give me go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Grab it! Reel it! Turn the handle! Keep turning the handle! Yeah! Captura, señores! Yes. Everybody step to your right. Yo, Esperando con esas aventuras, señores. Alright, boss. Thank you. Eleven. Yes.